Gandhi's My Experiments with Truth and rediscover the younger Gandhi. A quick flashback to his school days in Rajkot. Seven-year-old Gandhi, young, reticent, feeble-bodied, almost a recluse, dreaded being poked fun at. When he was just 13, he took to smoking. A relative and I became fond of smoking. Not that we saw any good in smoking or were enamored by the smell of a cigarette. We simply imagined a sort of pleasure in emitting clouds of smoke from our mouths. He even stole from servants and smoked stalks of porous plants and then, in sheer disgust, tried to commit suicide. But through each of these incidents, he says he learned a lesson. When he was just 13, he got his first lesson in Ahimsa. He wrote a letter to his father confessing that he'd been stealing, asking for his forgiveness. After reading the confession, his father just tore up the note and cried. Gandhi could see his father's agony and it cleansed his heart. But the most astounding revelations are in the chapters where Gandhi talks about forms of self-denial and lustful sexual urges. Now no one would think that the father of the nation would so freely talk about his deepest fears. But he does. When he was 16, his father was bedridden and he was given the duties of a nurse. Every night whilst my hands were busy massaging my father's legs, my mind was hovering about the bedroom. And that too, at a time when religion, medical science and common sense alike forbade sexual intercourse. I was always glad to be relieved from my duty and went straight to the bedroom. The book shows us another side of Papu, a more humane side. It shows us a Gandhi stripped to the soul but not stripped of his greatness.